What's up guys, just wanted to mention before today's video really gets started, everyone who ordered stuff from ZFG Co, I'm going to be explaining at the end of today's video where everything is because I didn't realize a lot of people haven't received their stuff and when I say a lot, I mean a lot of people. So I'm going to explain that at the end of today's video. So enjoy me talking about where I've been for the last week and then we'll get to this. <laughs> Okay, where did I go? That is the question I've gotten. Uh, well, besides many others, but let's talk about that. <laughs> okay, now we got a video. What's up guys, welcome to another video. My name is Shimbo Baby, and I've been gone for like a week. To be 100% honest with you guys, I had a lot of things going on right, you know, in the moment, so to speak, but it just didn't allow me to post on YouTube. Just didn't have the time to get my own stuff done. I had enough other stuff that I had to work on that took precedent over this. So I'm back now. You can expect videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Like that's my new schedule, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday if the video's there, if the time's there. So that's what you subscribe for. So we're back on schedule. Hopefully. <laughs> but let's talk about, you know, what I'm actually gonna talk about today. Last thing I did want to mention though, tomorrow, even though it's not Friday or Saturday, um, I got a couple of features that I did. Um, one of them is my own demo reel, which I've never had and it's now done. So you guys are gonna see my personal like videography, editing demo reel that I would submit to a company um, if I wanted them to hire me for a freelance job or whatever the case is. But you'll see that tomorrow, I spent a good amount of time editing that. Uh, like, I mean, I don't think I've ever edited something that challenging, so to speak, uh, just because of what it required me to do. If you've ever seen a demo reel or know what those are, you understand why those take so long. You have to go through all your stuff, everything you've ever done, and tell a story with your stuff, but show off your talents at the same time. It's very challenging. But <laughs> either way, that was done, and then also a little while ago I shot, um, there was an event for the company that did the wrap on this car, Exotic Vehicle Wraps. Um, I'll put their link in the description if you're interested um, in seeing what they do. But they do um, they do car wraps. They did this one, obviously. But for the most part, their um, their audience, their uh, targeted audience, are people that own like Lambos and Bentleys and cars that there's no way I'm going to be able to afford within the next five years. <laughs> so. Um, that's what they do. They did an amazing job on this wrap. I always say that, but it is true. I mean, there's it, good work should be recognized. Um, but you will see they had a, a one year anniversary of moving into the building they're in now. So I filmed a little event on that. And <laughs> I was planning on putting glass packs on the C5 I get, but then I heard a C5 with glass packs. <laughs> It sounds like a fucking tractor. That's not going on that car. <laughs> I'll put like Flowmasters or, you know, like an actual exhaust system on that car or whatever. Uh, but this car, man, Melrose Long Tubes, link in the description, and glass packs, cherry bombs. And this car sounds angry. It is just such a good sound. In fact, we're actually gonna go straight. So today's video, for the most part, is gonna be about what's gonna be coming up in a couple weeks uh, for me, and it's also gonna dictate what happens here as well. So if you're an avid subscriber for the Corvette, the C4, or the soon-to-be C C5, that's not a joke. I'm not just putting that in the title. That is happening. Um, you know, it's just, I gotta get the finances in order. The money is there, believe it or not. Um, it's just, I gotta, use it correctly, so to speak. So I gotta get it the correct financing and whatnot. That's all being worked out right now. It's taking longer than you know we all expected. But I'm, I'm getting there, guys, I promise. <laughs> it's not just talk. I will be attempting to actually build that car. I mean, the one I'm trying to get actually has a lot of work done to it already. So I'm not gonna be doing too much to it initially. But there's some little things here and there, and like exterior pieces that I would like on the car. It does, I would love to put a head unit in it because it still has the stock radio and I'd like to actually be able to listen to music without having like a, a tape deck adapter, which is what I have here. Um, you know, a couple things, you know, that I'd like to put on. I'd like to put nitrous on the car. That's one of the big things. Like put like a sneaky, like nitrous thing under the seat or something. Um, because the motor that's in it will take it. <laughs> um, and it's not just a normal OS, but you know, I'll leave it at that. You guys can guess in the comments what I mean by that. So as many of you know, I work for Rob Ferretti. I'm his brand manager. So I edit videos for him. I work on, you know, pursuing other streams of revenue. So whether that's buying merchandise or, you know, publicizing videos in other places. So they're able, you know, like clips, like on things like break.com, stuff like, anyway, Anyway, um, pursuing other streams of revenue, um, but that's my job. And one of the things Rob is doing that's coming up and it's kind of a big deal for him as well is his adventure drive. So that's that trip that he takes. It's like a rally, but it's not the traditional, you know, like Gumball 3000 or one of those um, like bull run or something where it's, you know, everyone's racing down the highway, you know, trying to get there first. And um, it's a lot of highway driving and like, like 
like evading cops and whatnot. And that's all fun. But a lot of people who did that, especially when he used to do his other stuff, you know, you know, 10 years ago, I'm talking like when he used to do a lot of this stuff for DVDs, um, a lot of that audience has outgrown that, you know, so they're into more, I don't want to be going 150 miles an hour. I got a family now. I can't be doing that stuff. So they would, they still love the whole rally thing. Um, you know, driving around nice cars and whatnot across the country, but they don't need the extra stuff. So like the late night parties, getting up, you know, after three hours of sleep, after being all hung over and then driving, you know, thousands of miles or hundreds of miles. Um, Rob has, you know, bridged that gap and has created adventure drives. And this is not me like promoing it or anything. I'm just like letting you guys know. Rob and the people planning the whole event, they plan out a route, places you go, roads you take, sites you see. Um, and you pay for a ticket, like a cruise ship. Everything's paid for, meals, travel, all of that. Um, but that is essentially what he has. And a lot of people, you know, it's, this is the third year now, I think. It might be fourth year, third. I'm kind of, <laughs> originally I wasn't going to go on it, but a couple of people are telling me, you should probably go on that. And, you know, in order for me to really go on that, I'm going to have to be filming with other, you know, people like the production company that already works with, Tangent Vector. Um, they've made the other Adventure Drive videos and they've done a lot of other stuff too, like Film for Drive, they've filmed a lot of stuff with Chris Harris, Matt Farah, um, TV shows, you know, big name companies, you know, like this isn't like just some indie shit, this is like people like Porsche, McLaren, Koenigsegg, um, you know, Pirelli, like the, like big name brands work with this production company. So I, they don't know me from Adam, but they just got my demo reel, which I sent them, well, no, I didn't send it, Ferretti sent it to them. Um, they sent my demo reel, and that was one of the reasons I couldn't post, because I was spending all my time making that. Then I told Ferretti, I said to him, you know, I would really like to work with these guys, and my thought process is, if I make them happy at, you know, at this shoot, if I go on the adventure drives thing, they'll, they might offer me a job, you know, or like being a, a freelancer for them, they'll contact me when they have work. Uh, for me or something like that, like four or five gigs a month or something like that. And I asked Freddy, I said, what kind of value can I provide to you that would make it worth your while to have me down at Adventure Drives? And with that being said, Rob saw the value in me and he booked my plane ticket. <laughs> so I'm going to be going on the Adventure Drives trip. I'm going to be gone for, I think, like one week, two weeks, something like that, filming. And it's going to be very exciting. I've never done something like this, but I am going to be working alongside of other people that one will hopefully be a future employer of mine <laughs> and two people that you know speak my language you know I was editing some of the footage from the last adventure drives video and I'm looking at all this and I'm going through the footage and I'm like I understand what you were doing there <laughs> I understand what you were working with so I'm I'm pretty excited to say the least I, I don't know what's gonna end up coming of it I really hope good things happen and Fred even told me he's just like you're in the fire now you better not fuck up I better not ship any hard drives in plastic bags but this whole thing will serve kind of as a trial run and will show the production company, you know, what I'm about, what I can do. And it might translate into a job. So things are looking up, you know, things are looking cool. And, you know, the other thing is Rob also knows everybody. So it's not like that demo reel is only going to one place. Um, hopefully it'd be great if it could go to maybe two places, three places, maybe four places. So I have consistent work and I'm always traveling and I can always make some vlogs and YouTube videos talking about it. And when I get home, I can drive my ludicrously fast C5 Corvette that I shouldn't own. So I'm excited. I forgot to turn the trash control off. <laughs> Whoops. Now I know there's a good amount of you watching, if you're even still watching to this point, that don't give a, you know, don't give a flying fuck about, you know, what I'm doing career-wise or like filming or whatnot. You guys just want to see burnouts and C5s and Corvettes. I'm with you. <laughs> I do too. Um, but what I'll do is I'll make sure to post as many of those videos as I can that, you know, I can. But I also got to, you know, what's happening right now in my life, um, like the avenue I'm going down it's very crucial that I put all of my time and effort into that as opposed to just YouTube. Because I mean, I can do YouTube whether I'm broke or fully employed, <laughs> like I'll find time. Um, but getting to the point where I'm no longer broke and I actually have a um, consistent income that I can rely on and pay bills with, because as you guys know, when come November, I'm, you know, Ferretti's knocking down the house I'm living in and I gotta be able to pay rent somewhere. I gotta devote my effort and make sure all the people that I need to impress, I'm actually impressing as opposed to taking away time from that 
and you know making a YouTube video about top 10 things you should look for when buying a Corvette or some shit like that. I mean, th those videos are fun, but I can make them anytime at all. So anyway, I thought it was just worth talking about, you know, big moment for me, you know, considering I'm actually now getting a real job, so to speak, as opposed to um, just working for another YouTuber. It's just ear porn. Hey guys, like guys, listen to this. Listen to this, guys. Listen to this. Like, do you hear that? Uh, I appreciate y'all watching the videos, subscribing, liking the videos, commenting on my stuff, you know, supporting me and where I go. Um, good thing, I, I always say it, but good things are coming, man. Really nice things. And I can't wait for that C5 to come. And I don't know if you guys heard about it, which I'm sure many of the people who are subscribed to me have already, but Mike, or Street Speed 717, he's doing another one of those call out things, um, October 28th. And I'm working with them because we're gonna film something really, really cool for the actual call out portion, hopefully. And then obviously I'm gonna be filming the event again. Um, you know, so good things are coming. Let, let's put it that way. <laughs> Um, and also, Mike and I are still racing these C4s. So, anyway, there's that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like the video for me, subscribe if you have not already. Look for tomorrow for my demo reel, which is something you definitely don't want to miss. It's also kind of a tribute to the channel because it's got everything that I've ever posted on there incorporated and in what I've worked on. So, it's, um, it's really cool to see. So, that's coming tomorrow. Subscribe, hit the bell thing, the fucking notifications thing, so you actually know when the thing gets posted. Um, the day afterwards, you'll see the wrap anniversary, which is what it was called, one year anniversary of EVW. And then Friday, I don't know what the hell I'm going to post. I'll post something, though. Don't worry. You'll like it. So with that, thank you guys for watching. All y'all have a fantastic day. Cool. So you made it this far. Now, for those who don't know what ZFG Co. is, ZFG Co. is a lifestyle brand that I started a little while ago, and it stands for zero fucks given. You want to rep something that, you know, shows kind of what you stand for. A lot of people like that, you know, message zero fucks given, and it's something I kind of live by, so to speak. So I created the brand, and there's key tags you can buy. There are you know, a slew of different slap stickers and shit you can buy that I've had. Um, there's a t-shirt, there's a white t-shirt, there's a black t-shirt. Uh, but either way, a whole bunch of people made orders on that website, which made me really, really happy. Um, but it wasn't expected. And the reason this was a problem was because all of the merchandise that I had, um, I had taken from the supplier. Basically, all of the merchandise I have is not from me. Um, it's not shipped out by me at all. It's actually shipped out by another supplier who makes the stuff and they also fulfill it. Uh, so if you buy something, they're the ones who take care of the order, shipping it, inputting the tracking number and whatnot. They ship everything out two to three business days, USPS priority mail. And I was under the impression that everyone was going to get their stuff by Monday, no harm, no foul. I didn't realize that no, not many people got their order. In fact, um, I got like a, probably about at least 10 emails of people saying, hey, where's my stuff? I placed the order like two weeks ago. And I was like, uh, it should be at your place, right? No. And the other problem was because of the fact that I had to deliver the merchandise to them and they hadn't used the e-commerce page that I have. So um, the place that I built my website on has a built-in store, which is you know where you buy the stuff and that's referred to as like an e-commerce thing or whatever. But they weren't familiar with that system, so the tracking numbers never got inputted. Uh, so all the people that ordered, there was like 70 orders or so that don't have tracking information on it. So all you guys wonder like, where's my shit? It's in transit now. I have been told, as of today, everything has been shipped out. Um, you should be receiving your item within two, three days. I would say max four, you know, unless they, you know, pick like fucking economy mail or some shit. But I'm getting a bill from priority mail. That's what I know. <laughs> but basically, I, I kind of got screwed over. I didn't realize that nobody got their stuff. Um, I'm sorry I didn't, you know, enforce the fact that you guys had to have your tracking numbers. I thought everything was going to get there by Monday or Tuesday, so... I, th I thought to myself, all right, well, this first, you know, batch, so to speak, you know, just don't worry about the tracking numbers. We'll just get the orders out. So I do apologize to everybody who's like, where the fuck is my stuff? Because it's been like two weeks, three weeks, and I haven't seen it, and I placed my order a while ago. You should be getting your stuff very soon now. Everything's been shipped out. Um, you know, I had one person tell me their address was wrong. That was corrected. Uh, so I do apologize. I didn't realize this was the case. And um, in the future, I'm going to write on the website, you know, please allow up to like a week to have things shipped out because this company, we're still getting used to working with each other um, because, you know, every company they work with has a different 
way of operating, so to speak, because they're drop shipping for me, basically, or fulfilling for me. I'm not touching the merchandise. I buy the merchandise up front, and then they ship it out. And I'm probably going to, in the future, do made-to-order stuff or have things prepaid without me um, paying up front because it's a lot of money out of my pocket. So after this merchandise is gone, um, I'm going to have to rethink where I get everything. But either way, that's the update. So everyone is wondering where, they, where their shit went or doesn't have any stuff and for some reason is still watching and you have your phone on the other side of the room. Go to ZFGCo.com right now and buy yourself something. Everything's very, very cheap. You know, um, Nothing is going to leave a dent in your pocket. You're not paying $25 for a shirt. You're paying like $8 or $9 for a shirt. So that's it for this. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video or have some sense of release now that you actually know that you didn't just get ripped off by me, <laughs> I don't do that stuff. Please like the video for me, subscribe if you have not already, hit the fucking post notifications button, you should be good to go. But um, other than that, yeah, thank you guys for watching, all of y'all have a fantastic day.